Stood up to Benedictum, Marshall, and up to Domine, at the Shendot Supernos, Misericordia, who in Chansum, he stood up to Benedictum, Marshall, and up to Domine, at the Shendot Supernos, Misericordia, who. In chancel me stood up te benedictum, a shen of te domine et de shen dat supernos misericordia tu. In chancel me stood up te benedictum, a shen of te domine et de shen dat supernos misericordia tu. left 
stand. For before us flames the pentagram, and behind us shines the six-rayed star. Mighty Mother, Scorpio, Apophis, Destroyer, Soul, Osiris, Slain, and Risen, Isis, Apophis, Osiris, Let the divine light descend. The sign of Osiris slain. L, the sign of the morning of Isis. V, the sign of Typhon and Apophis. X, the sign of Osiris risen. L, V, X. aspirations of our souls, that we may be enabled to accomplish the great work to the glory of thine ineffable name. Amen.
Thank you to those who are witnessing. If you have anyone in mind who could use some healing work, even if you're not watching this live, go ahead and visualize them standing right here between the pillars, wearing brilliant white, wearing a multicolored whatever it is at their heart. Not everybody is into this. It's okay. It's many colors shining out in a rainbow. A light above, coming down from another rainbow rose, down through the solar plexus of this person, with a red 49 petaled rose at their feet, pink light circulating in between, filling up their body, filling up their aura, allow them to bathe in, breathe in the light. The rose pink light of King Scale, Typhirit. With rays from the Typhirit square of all seven planetary walls flowing through the center of their being and back out to all the planetary walls, the light flowing from above to below to above to below rising, descending, changing ever, yet ever the same. You're welcome to continue visualizing them between the pillars for the moment. <laughs> Yes, you can visualize yourself there if you'd like. this rose cross 
to the ceiling of these lights within this chamber. May they flow in from outside, may they flow out from within, but may they remain also flowing within this chamber. Dedicate this Rose Cross to the healing of, you fill in the name, and to all others who the rest of us have in mind. In the name of Yeshua Yehovah, Otto Melkut, Vigaboro, Vigadol, Leolomomen. May what we have partaken of sustain us in our continued search for the quintessence, the summa bonum, true wisdom, and perfect happiness. And may it sustain us in love, truth, and knowledge. I now release any and all spirits, which may go ahead and visualize them kind of fading away, but it will remain. The energy will keep flowing, but we're going to let everyone go now. Good. Thank you. We now release any and all spirits which may become imprisoned by these rites. Go forth now to thine own abodes and habitations. Go thou with the peace and blessings of Yeshua Yehovasha. Be there always peace between you and us, and be ye ready to come again when you are called. For I now declare this ritual of the seven Typhirates duly closed. Thank you all for joining me. Can you see me? Um, this Friday, assuming that everything goes according to plan, I need to work out some technical difficulties with recording Skype. If anybody has any ideas about that, please contact me in private message. Um, Juan Milo Duquette will be returning for his second interview, and I will be joined by co-host Ella Jensen. For those who don't know, in fact, for those who don't know me and you're seeing this all for the first time, um, write down the word esoteric nerd, E S O T E R I N E R D. If you have a podcast platform, type that in. That's my podcast. Um, so far, there's 81 episodes. Episode 82 will be Ella, and she runs. Uh, that's not your real name. I know that. Uh, we'll work that out on Friday. But I call her Ella. That's also my great great grandmother's name, so there's a familiarity there. Her real name was Mary Ellen. Anyway, um, what am I talking about? She is the host of Stooping Starlight, which is, you might see some old Aeon stuff here. If you're into the new Aeon and you're female, you could be a guest on that podcast. If you're not female, you can still listen to it. Um, it is a podcast dedicated to amplifying the voices of the women of Thelema. So since Lon Milo Duquette is not a woman, I'm going to have him come on my podcast, and then I'm going to bring Ella in to co-host, and then since I know nothing about Thelema, I'm going to kind of fade into the background and let that happen. And I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be good, and uh, I hope you enjoy it, and we'll, we'll see you then. Thank you again for, uh, for witnessing. And I'll talk to you soon. Namaste.